Are you guys ready to see me customize this pair right here? That answer is yes. Sit back, relax, and eat snacks. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I'm coming at you guys with a custom time-lapse video slash tutorial on these Air Jordan Laser 1s. Now a lot of people have requested for me to do a Royal 1 kind of colorway, so guess what I did? Yes, the Royal 1 colorway right here. I will be showing you how to do it and just the whole time-lapse of me doing everything on the shoe. It does take a lot to do this. You don't have to be a crazy painter but it does take a lot of time and patience, especially if this is your first time working on a custom pair. Now before we get started, I wanna see if we could reach 3,000 likes on this video. I know that's a lot, but I think we can do it and I have faith in you guys, so please smash that like button so I know that you guys like these videos. And if you guys wanna see more custom videos in the future, let me know down below and let me know what shoe you want me to customize. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get right to it. The first and most important part when you start this job is to prep the surface. So we're going to do that with some Angelus Leather Prepare ND Glazer and some cotton balls. So let's get it cracking. Yeah. 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 Gon' grab that fifth, grab that eighth, grab what you need. Blow that dope, don't get too hot. From the third coast to the west coast, come take this ride. Let me tell the tell a high jack turn scout over one lost trip to the sky. Let me tell the tell, cause you told the tell when you said I can make it this high. Who knew? God damn it, who knew? I just finished prepping the uppers on these Jordan ones right here. When you're rubbing this area, all of the laser print is going to have a little, uh, I guess like a sand kind of color, really light brown. So that's how you know that you're prepping well is when the light brown starts to come off and it's more of just a gray look right now and everything is nice and smooth. So we're going to apply some coats of royal blue and some flat black and that'll look super clean on this pair right here. And we will hit it with a uh, matte finisher. This is a quick tip I wanted to share with you. After you finish prepping your uppers, you might see little remnants from the cotton ball. So what you're going to do is just get a brush and just brush all of that cotton off of the shoe so then when you paint, the cotton doesn't interfere with everything that you're doing. So just brush it off real quick. Just a nice brush to get those little cotton pieces off. And also, I would recommend stuffing the shoe. So as you can see, I have a little towel in there. Shout out to Jose Perez for that again. Just to give it that nice form when you paint. So we're gonna get the paint on there right now. Hope you guys enjoy this one. As you can see, the paint hasn't really had a chance to get that full solid color. Keep in mind that this is the first layer, so you want to make sure your first layer is nice and light, and you want to carry that out throughout the rest of the coats. So this one's probably going to need three coats, I'm guessing. So I'm going to get you guys um, a little update after I hit it with the third coat, but it should look a lot better than this. So let me get to it, and I'll come at you guys with the results. Nigga be a man, spend the day up in my shoes. Who knew? Like who knew? Lord, homie, if you're a bigger man than you. For real? You dick eat while the shits creak like for real? Now you crispy, I'm like miss me like for real? Fuck the answers, I'm a man first, fuck the deal. Just finished painting the second layer on the toe box area and as you can see it's looking way better but it's still kind of patchy so I'm probably going to need three total layers of that royal blue. Now you can see on the insides that 
it has that white kind of look and we want to get rid of that by using the detailed brushes that you can find at angelusdirect.com what I'm gonna do is just paint the insides with that royal blue so everything matches and you don't see like those white holes it just looks kind of uh, kind of sus it looks weird it just looks um, unnatural so we're gonna get that in like I said we're gonna be using these these are gonna come in handy if you guys don't pick this up it might be a little bit more difficult because we're going to use this for the Air Jordan sign as well so make sure you pick it up if you guys don't have it giving the devil nookies I got him in a headlock Telling him that he better let go of that eggnog of I'm at the foot of the table, that's the press box I can see the drama unfold, it's the best spot White girl sniffing coke, making snow angels Turn a cold hearted bitch into someone who's so playful Mixing the tortellini spinach soup with a gold ladle Is it sending a bet money on the spin of the dreidel? I disagree when people say that the winner's dead You can make a house out of gingerbread Please don't listen to what that bitch on Tinder said Delete that app and go live instead the mom and pop shops need us so we always shop local when you walk in they greet you with their homemade hot cocoa all sorts of people going sledded on a golf course there's nothing quite like the holidays when you're up north let's play in the snow i'm about to throw on some more coats on that royal blue and don't freak out i'm gonna give you guys a little insight on why i chose to do the royal blue on the leather first so whenever you're doing customs make sure you do the lightest color first because if you have slip ups like this I did this on purpose I didn't actually mess up this bad but if you have slip ups like this it doesn't really matter since it's a light color the black is going to go over it which will cover it so basically it's all an illusion if you think about it you can mess up you don't have to be the greatest painter ever you can just go do whatever you want as long as you're doing the light color first now you see I messed up a whole bunch right here on purpose and over here just to show you that the black will cover all of it so keep that in mind when you're doing a custom like this um, because you do have these edges right here let me see if I could show it to you you do have these edges right here that that aren't colored yet so what I usually do is just paint this area I really don't care about the top part too much because that part is going to be black so I paint that area um, you'll see a lot of the areas are gonna come like this like raw that raw kind of look is gonna be white so when I paint it black I'll make sure to do this part real nice because once that dark color gets on there it's hard to mask it over with the lighter color oh, oh, oh. No, 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 look at all these ho 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 I bet they got their stockings filled with coke Alright everybody, check this out. This is the final product. We used three layers for the blue. So check it out, check it out. Just a really quick look. We're about to throw the black on. I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, 360 view of the shoe right now. The black will probably need two coats. The darker the color, the less layers are needed to get that full um, color. Because a lot of people ask me how many layers they should put when they paint shoes like this. What you really want is the least amount possible, but you want the least amount that gives you the full color of the shoe. Now people mess up on this part right here. What I kind of think of it as is like you're scratching the shoe. You're just scratching it a little bit. And you could just push down like that and then come up. That's the easiest way to get close to those lines and just not hit the midsole. So that's what I like to do. Take your time at this part, and then when you're done, you want to make sure you smooth it out uh, with longer strokes. So you're going to follow that and do it along this area as well. And then when you're done, you just smooth it out like this so your lines are going one way. Shots fire, pow, pow. Sound like somebody let a rifle.
fall off of something. Huh. This is lemonade in the sun. What you know about spending days on the run? Huh. Yeah, my last project was a masterpiece. Shit, like the slave owner's gun. And yeah, I'm underground like the railroads. I would never change, I'm jail clothes and my shell toes. I'm Bones Jones with the strong homes. Huh. Cause all I got is elbows. The next thing we're going to be working on is the sock liner and the tongue. So what you're going to do is get a mixing jar. This one came from Angelus Direct and you see that I've poured some water inside. What we're going to do is get a 50-50 mixture going so this will thin out the paint. You want 50% water and 50% of that flat black paint. You don't want to add the paint just straight up to the sock liner and tongue. So I'm going to try to do a 50-50 mixture hopefully, something like that. I'm going to mix it up and start applying it. Yo, so I just finished touching up the Air Jordan sign right here. Honestly, I think that's the most difficult part out of this whole process, this whole job. Just hitting this area with that detail brush really helps, but this area really needs a lot of time and attention if you want it to look perfect. But anyways, we're going to get to the sole dye process. I have a video up if you want it in detail, so go ahead and check it out. I'll leave it on the screen right now. But basically, just to summarize everything, we're going to do a 50-50 mixture of some dye and some soul bright. So I'm using regular blue suede dye and dressing and I'm gonna mix it with some soul bright. So I already got the dye in here just so my job is a little bit easier. I'm just gonna pour this up in there, shake it up and then apply it to the soles. What's good? Somebody there I ghetto traffic, you know what it is? Uh check. Uh, said it's obvious. I heard that you was talking shit anonymous. Well, I karate punch your body guts into the audience. I kill shit. You probably won't acknowledge it, but I know how you pussies work. I'm the gynecologist. They see the joke and they think, man, he cheesy. But I got bars on the low, kind of like a speakeasy. Try to keep me down because I keep it so real, but I got a brain like a broken fridge. No chill. Renaissance man, Mr. Jack of all trades. Fresh off the top like tapers and ball fades. They looking down on me because I'm not too tall, but I'm making headlines like my hat too small. You really must be sleeping if you ain't never seen me. I went from YouTube videos, now I'm on MTV. Now I'm the only Asian dude up on BET. Man, I feel out of this world. It's like I could BET. Bitch. Get it? That shit up, man. That was a team backpack cipher. Go to the website. Let them know who killed it. Man, follow all these guys, man. Clap that shit up. Team backpack. 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 Team